right. Okay, hey. Yeah, so I'm just walking. This is taking the subway path. And, uh, this is, uh, it's one of the ways I'm walking to, uh, one of the ways I'm walking home. Alright, so I just crossed the street under the subway, and now I'm walking home. I just bought a sandwich, I think it's going to be too spicy. Um, it has uh, chicken and some kind of spicy uh, spicy sauce or something on it, but that's what I'm going to eat for lunch. And I just finished recording at uh, the radio station, so I just finished recording a program for... Uh, it's the year in review. Uh, I do a show, you know, about uh, uh, famous or notable people in Korea, and the show was uh, show was about the most notable or uh, hottest people in Korea in 2014. So. That's what I talked about, and right now, I'm just having a walk. I'm going to go home and do some riding. There's a lot of riding I need to do to catch up, so what I need to do is, uh, need to write, I need to finish a short story, and after I finish that, I need to finish an article for a website. <clears throat> also study Korean. And... Let's see. Do meditation. By the way, that reminds me. There's a book that was just released by Sam Harris called Waking Up. And... He claims it to be a religious fellow. But, you know... He promotes meditation and, uh, you know, promotes living a spiritual life. It's a good book, I think. And I think that there's another good book that I read. I'm not an atheist, but I read a book called An Atheist Guide to Religion, and it's by Alain de Baton, and he talks about some of the, some of the good things about religion, and he highlights some of the things about the beliefs, the rituals, and he tries to say that it would be good if we could integrate some of these things into our lives. Everybody should be able to integrate them in, whether or not they're religious. So, I think that's right. It feels weird talking to myself while, while walking and filming, you know? And I think that uh, about the only way that I could justify it, the only times it feels comfortable is when I feel like I'm having a conversation with my mom or something. But because I'm sort of an awkward speaker with my mom it also it also sounds strange to to just to just ramble cuz it's not like I have a have a topic or anything oh i will tell you this though i will mention that i've had a big time recently like i've been doing a lot of family stuff um a lot of stuff with uh my girlfriend's family so we've been spending a lot of time together and we'll spend the whole day together. Uh, and one of the things that I really realized, or I do realize while I'm, while I'm doing it, is that, uh, yeah, it's really good to get out of your shell. You know, I spend so much time just reading and writing or studying, and uh, I sort of feel guilty when I'm not doing something like that, if I'm not writing or if I'm not reading, studying. 
uh, studying Korean especially. If I'm not doing those things, I feel like I ought to be doing them. But I think it is good to do something to get out of your shell, like, uh, yeah, spend time with friends and family, and uh, I think that whenever I do that, I'm a better person for it. I don't know.